Good morning, or whatever time it is when you're watching this. Uh, it's morning here. Uh, this is Beachcomber Cottage. Welcome to Beachcomber Cottage. I'm Monty, Monty Halls. And uh, what I've done is I've changed my postcode for a grid reference and come up to the west coast of Scotland and uh, done up a bothy, an old bothy, in this beautiful, beautiful place in the middle of nowhere. Um, so what I'm going to do is give you a quick guided tour. We're going to give you a quick guided tour because here's the unquestioned star of the show. Hey, Rubes. 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 He's my donkey-sized dog. Um, let's come up here with me and thinks he's died and gone to heaven. Okay, here we go. Whistle stop tour. Uh, okay, straight into the bothy. Here we go. Now, this actually used to be a old barn where they kept uh, various stock and sheep and highland cattle and things like that. Uh, it was built about 150 years ago and I've done it up. Uh, it's kind of minimalist. Um, very, very basic. But I have got a massive bed with a 28 tog duvet, which is crucial for the modern survivalist. Um, okay, coming through this way, out the back. I've only got two minutes to do all this, apparently. So here we are, out the back. Um, it's quite basic in terms of it hasn't really got any amenities, so I get my water from rainwater. There we are, there's the water butts. And uh, I'm growing veg. And in the corner there's my composting toilet. Now, all of this, I'm sure you're thinking um, that I'm some sort of expert who can rub a couple of squirrels together and make a fire and knit my own clothing out of kelp and all that sort of stuff. I'm not. I'm a completely ham-fisted DIY bloke. I'm legendary amongst my mates down south for being appalling at DIY. When I put up a shelf, it results in serious injury, sometimes hospitalisation. Right, come meet the pigs. Uh, this is Gemma and Doris. Hello, ladies. How are you? You all right? <laughs> um, very shortly for the chop, the, uh, the pigs, uh, literally, as in the pork chop. Um, but um, these are a cross between Tamworths and wild bulls. All right, ladies. And uh, Doris is a psycho. She's a mean old bag. And Gemma is a complete flirt. And uh, I've got a bit of a crush on Gemma all this time alone. Here's the chickens. Hello, ladies. How are you? Good, good. Go on, team. Get in there. Lay some eggs. I'm uh, omelette-tastic up here because these guys lay about nine eggs a day. So uh, I've done every single variation of an omelette known to man. Um, here's the lower vegetable patch, uh, which is great. Um, and there's some sheep up the back. Uh, that's the extension. Um, and that's the view. Which isn't too bad. Uh, it's great old wooden extension, which uh, creaks and groans in storms. It's like being on the bridge of a ship, because you're looking directly out over the channel there as the waters thrash and heave. So this is my story of how I set all this up. Uh, it's been a complete mission. It's aged me about 50 years. I've lost a stone and a half in weight since I've been here, uh, but it's been amazing, a life-changing experience. So enjoy. <laughs> 